Welcome back. New at 11 tonight, just weeks away from California ending its coronavirus state of emergency. The experts say signs are pointing to the end of the pandemic. But as ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell finds, experts also say when exactly is still up in the air. I think we can say certainly the worst worrisome part of the pandemic is at an end. Dr. Maria Raven is the chief of emergency medicine at UCSF Medical Center. She says the emergency department is seeing between zero and four cases of COVID a day, a long way from the height of the pandemic. Both the you know, relatively no, low number of cases that we're seeing, but also the sort of severity of the current version of the virus, it, is t it feels like it's time to move on. And in just a few weeks, California will be moving on, ending its coronavirus state of emergency on February 28th. Friday, the state saying it won't require students to get the COVID vaccine for school. Kids are going to get COVID the way that they're going to get RSV and the flu, which, by the way, are more dangerous for them at this point than COVID. And, um, you know, it's a reality, but I think it is going to be OK for kids to go back to school regardless. And in another move away from pandemic protocols, the federal government announcing it's cutting off free COVID vaccines this fall. Testing and treatment will also depend on insurance coverage. We probably won't see a huge impact on the population like we did ever before for COVID-19. Dr. Peter Chin Hong is an infectious diseases expert at UCSF. Even if there are scary new variants, the soil on which it's landing on is very inhospitable right now because so many people have some sort of immunity. And he says we're likely not too far from the pandemic becoming an endemic, meaning it's still around but not disrupting everyday life. Oh, we are near the end, but I guess the word endemic also implies predictability and we don't have that yet. Get through the fall without a surge and he says it will be time to call it over. If I had to bet $100, I would say that we would likely see a quiet time until next winter. Then, he says, COVID-19 becomes more like just another winter virus. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.